Okay, so today I wanted to share with you some products that I love so much that I use them until the very end. <laughs> so you know that it's something that I really, really like a lot. <laughs> product is the um, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water and you can see this one is huge this is a almost 24 ounce bottle so this is what I use each night to take my makeup off I love this product it gets off waterproof makeup the the eyeliner that I use is waterproof it's very gentle um, sometimes when to be honest a lot of the times this is not the best skincare uh, technique but it, it's just being honest with you sometimes all I'll do is just use the micellar water and go to sleep I know somebody's gonna say you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to wash it off ideally yes but um, realistically that does not always happen for me it's a personal goal of mine to wash my face more each night but it, at the bare minimum to take off the makeup that I use every day I will use the micellar cleansing water with um, a cotton round um, you know the like the cotton round i'll i'll put a link to it um that you can use it's called a cotton round that's what they're called but i like the really they make some really big ones and those are my favorites to use with this it's quick and easy and i never skip it because it is so easy the next product that i use that is an empty for me is the nars radiant creamy concealer i have um, used this this concealer on and off for quite a while now I have uh, quite a few empties <laughs> of this product and I know why I don't know why I haven't got rid of them because there's not anything left in them but I love this concealer a lot because it it looks natural enough that you can use it on your face and it looks like skin so it can um, cover and conceal your imperfections it, it looks really nice under your eye you don't have to even set it with powder if you don't want to uh, I really like the the doe foot applicator that it has um, that you can it's small enough that you can get it in whatever different little places that you need it doesn't irritate my skin and um, they're they're pretty reasonably priced in my opinion so this is definitely another product that that I love a whole lot um, and I love using this I, I've used this a lot as you can see they're gone Another empty that I have is the cover effects. As you can see, I use this a lot because <laughs> the um, all you can see is FX on it. So I use this clearly a lot until the, the end. This is the Press Mineral Foundation and um, it was the shade N90. I just stopped using it a couple weeks ago because um, finally this, this little inner rim started to break off a little bit. Um, I love the Cover FX brand. I think it's a, a great brand, a great introductory brand that um, you can use if you are the type of person like me who you have a difficult time sometimes trying to figure out what shades, um, what complexion, complexion products to use and what shades and sometimes what undertones. Sometimes that can be really difficult to figure out and sometimes it changes throughout the year too. What I like about the Cover Effects brand is they split their products up into different undertones. So you um, you can go and buy you know exactly what you need and, and know which shades match you throughout the year. I am actually an N90 throughout the year. Uh, when I was younger, I always felt like I had like this golden complexion. And um, I guess I do technically. Um, it is golden, but it's very neutral. So it's it's neutral enough that the shade N90, Neutral 90, is what works for me. So um, when it gets really cold in the winter and I don't have a lot of sunlight um, exposure, I use N85, which is a little lighter than this one. So I have that uh, flexibility and I can go between both shades. I can use a little more of the lighter one the winter um, in the summer, I don't use any of the lighter one, but I can adjust as, as I go along. So if, if you're someone like me where you have a neutral undertone, or maybe you don't know if you have a neutral undertone, um, maybe you use a lot of complexion products that are too red. You put it on and it looks like muddy, um, you know, or it's just like too red on your complexion. Maybe you might want to try cover effects and see 
if you can identify a specific shade that might work for you. I'm gonna count this product as an empty because I can't use it. I used it until I couldn't use it anymore. This is the uh, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz. I love the Becca brand so very much. And um, the Topaz, um, I always just call it a highlighter, but it, it's technically called the Shimmering Skin Perfector. So the, the Topaz Perfector, it is the most um, beautiful shade. It brings out just, just this beautiful quality in um, women of color, particular African-American women's complexion. So I love using this shade a lot. I know a lot of professional makeup artists keep Topaz in their kit. And I counted it as an empty because um, I don't want to spill it, but it did end up shattering. I don't remember what I did to it. I think um, I think I accidentally threw my, um, I don't know if I dropped my makeup bag or something like that. And this shattered and then I tried to put it back together and it shattered again. So it just kind of made me sad and <laughs> I didn't want to use it anymore. Um, I am using a different highlighter right now from Wet n Wild actually called Awesome Blossom, which I really like. But I will be um, picking up another Becca Topaz. Um, I can still use this one, but really kind of like at home because it's it's in pieces, you know. But but I, I love this product so very much. Okay, and the last empty I'm going to share with you today is Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And this color is uh, Y505. So I wore Y505 out <laughs> and I emptied this bottle out. It it looks like it's still a little bit of product in there, but it was um not enough for me to maybe I could get a pump or two out but it it pretty much was gone I did end up repurchasing another bottle I do really like uh the makeup forever brand and I like this shade of foundation a lot if I'm wanting to wear an actual liquid foundation um on a daily basis that doesn't look like you know you want to you want to have your face look nice but I don't always like it to look like oh she has on foundation I don't always like that look so this is one of the um, complexion products or foundation products that you would go to if that was a look that that you wanted you wanted to look nice but you didn't want to look I guess overdone so to say this would definitely be one of those that you could use so I hope you liked this video and if you did uh, please do like the video make sure to write a comment I will respond to your comment and also please make sure to subscribe. I'll be releasing new videos and new content on a regular basis. And I'm looking forward to sharing some more tips and techniques with you. Take care, bye.